videos when you have an office to be seen. You know, they don't have ID, they can't get into a hotel room. To, to get them the help they need, especially if someone even gets arrested. A lot of people don't know how the justice system works. but I want someone to actually know them and, and know that it's legit. 30 years, I started out as an investor first. Um, I would in general be wary of the storefront psychic. Have more powers. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, 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 welcome again, everyone, to The Problem Solver here at Sticky Paul Studio in Las Vegas. Uh, Cole Meyer is on vacation right now, so I am trying my best to take over here. And hey, you know what I want you guys to do is I want you to call 702-999-1111. Call and bug Cole Meyer on his vacation. I want you to give him all sorts of problems, all right? So if you can do that for me. Um, today, I have some very special people here with me, my BFFs. Rose, right here to the left. Rose is with Loan Depot. So we're going to talk about mortgage. And then I also have Susan Brock, who is in real estate. She's a fellow real estate agent. And we're going to talk about real estate. And also a special eye candy, uh, Sean. Oh, ladies. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Sean's only here for eye candy. And if we get into politics, he's definitely going to jump in, you know. Yeah. So we try not to talk about that too much, right? We'll, we'll keep yeah. it surface level. Except every single day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so welcome. Um, so uh, Susan and I are both in real estate, and we've been in real estate for quite a while, you know, many, 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 many years. So Susan, tell us a little bit about what's going on in the market right now. So I'm a, I'm a big uh, statistic person. So um, it, it actually sheds a lot of light on how you uh, – make an offer, how you list your house and all that. So it's pretty important. But um, so our homes for sale are almost as they've ever been. Uh, we have like 4,200 homes on the market, which the high in 2014 was 14,400 houses on the market. In 2014? 2014. That's a, but that's a that's a long, long time, time ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, but even in 2019, it was 12. Actually, in 2022, it was 12,424. Okay. In, in September of 2022. So that's like six months ago. Yes. So we've drastically reduced our... Uh, you know, our homes for sale, our hey, inventory. Hey, Susan, get that closer to you. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Move forward. So, so where do you think the supply is right now? A two-month supply? So, yeah, less than two months. Less a than month, two months. Uh, less than, just a short of two months. Wow. And, you know, I also, I, I, I tell people that the uh, a stable market is about six months, right? Right. Yeah, so we're at less than two months. Like a, like a nice even market is four to six months so that the buyer and the seller both have an opportunity to try to get what they're wanting but right now even though we're low on housing the closing sales are low too so we don't have a lot of buyers so yeah. closed sales are almost the all-time low the all-time low was in january and there was 1729 homes closed the high of march uh 2021 was 4,744, but but actually that was only for the last five years. We've closed mm -hmm. many more houses than that in a month. So do you think we're in a post-COVID settling? Do you I think, think we're in a post-COVID settling era? Don't you think, I think that people don't know, they're afraid, they don't know what to do. They don't, they don't know if they should list, they yeah. don't know if they should buy. Yeah. They don't know what's coming around the corner just because things have changed so much so quickly. Yeah, well, the reason for that is because the interest rates have gone up uh, drastically since uh, February of 2022. So that makes people very afraid of, well, uh, are the housing market is going to crash. Mm -hmm. uh, well, oh, there's also people that can qualify right now because the interest rate is high and the income is not matching uh, the the rates the the, uh, of the homes. And yeah, exactly. But we talked about this before. 
whatever happened last year with the interest rates being what two or what two to Around three, three two and three two and three percent okay y'all that is not normal correct correct that yes. has never happened in the history of housing correct uh well we did had in the past uh the interest rate went to zero uh, many when was years that? Ago. yeah that's that's been it's been a while since that happened but um yeah it, that that was caused the cause of that was because of covid you know they were trying to to make the economy you know keep it going artificially by lowering the rates really yeah. so during covid it was zero yeah well i was sleeping for two years well, during covid well, so i had no, no idea hold on let, let, <laughs> let, let me rephrase that what people don't understand is that the this the rate that the feds lend money to the banks was zero so then obviously the bank still has to make money so that's why you will see in a one and a half two percent three percent whatever it was at the time whenever mm. you know that happens so yeah. it's not like people always get confused like oh but the interest rate is zero right now well it's zero for the banks to get money from the feds or from other banks you know when they do the trading that they do so yeah. um, but to us the consumer to us the consumer it was never zero yeah. They, they bumped it up, yeah. you know, at least 1%, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the banks has to make money, you know. They, they're mm -hmm. not just going to lend the money to the people without, you I, know. Yeah. I think the other, the other factor is uh, the housing prices have been ticking down. And so they're worried about how far are they going to tick down. Yeah. Well, in, I can rebuke that by saying, so we're, we don't have enough listings really even for the amount of buyers we have, even though we have mm -hmm. hardly any listings. We have hardly any buyers. So actually the prices have leveled off and I can uh, prove that because the median sales price from January to February went up $5,000. And that's the first time it ticked up since May of 2022. So it's been steadily going down since May, but it ticked up mm. this past month. Just so, um, buy, so buyers should know that it might tick up more if you don't if you really need to buy or want to buy you should maybe get going on that. you need to do it now and remember because march is worse remember uh -huh. it gets, everything gets crazier in it, the spring and yeah and the reason for that and you know because i've been in the real estate for a while now is people that are their kids need to go to school so they start looking right around march or april because they want to move right as the school ends mm -hmm. so that's when you say when you see an uptick of people there you're trying to apply pre-qualified and, and mm -hmm. all that so they can buy and close on a home by june or july by august everybody uh, anybody who wanted to like be in a home before the school start they start they have to start early and so that's why you're seeing probably an uptick of, of buyers right now mm -hmm. and i actually i i noticed that too because i'm getting way more uh, applications right now than i did in january of this year so what you're saying is right now if i want to make that move i should try to get pre-qualified at this point in time so i can buy later thereafter you know absolutely after that. yeah and 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 for all the people who are here and listening to us the most important thing that you can do if you want to buy a house don't look for the real estate person first you have to come to a lender like me absolutely. Um, so you can get the pre-approval letter um, that is going to allow you to put that offer and let this, the seller know that you are a serious person yeah. and that you're ready to buy. And that's what I do. When people come to me or consumers come to me, I actually send them to Rose to get a pre-approval first before I even start doing anything. Okay. You know, so. Yeah. Exactly. So, so, Jean so yes. if you have somebody that's ex-military like myself, yes. you turn around, you come in, you say, hey, uh, I'm going to do a VA loan, but I don't know how to do it. You end up redirecting to. Absolutely. That's the first call. I said, look, let's let's get you in touch with the lender or with, with my lender and uh, let's get your pre-approval. And then I will start showing you properties or so for, sending you properties. So my, my question would be for VA loans, how long does it take you to pre-qualify a VA loan? That's her question right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's the same thing, the same process for VA, FHA or conventional. It, it, it depends on how busy I am, but I can do a pre-approval in one day. So um, very quick yeah. yeah as long as you give her all the information that she needs exactly. quickly and that's what I tell my clients hey give the lender everything that she needs within a day or two please so yeah. that we can get rolling and I to and I am I have a bet with a friend Anthony cools and you're gonna lose <laughs> that prices were gonna start increasing you know and we made this bet what in December I told him within six months 
prices are going to start increasing. Even if the interest rates aren't decreasing right now, buyers out there, please start looking now. Start buying now. I'm telling you, the market is going to start changing again. It's definitely going to heat up. And there's another reason for that, too. We still get six thousand new residents from out of state every single month and they have to live somewhere so if you live in vegas now and you really want to move do it before they get here mm -hmm. do See it that, before summer do it before spring even that influx that influx of uh people if you uh, emigrating into the state whatever it may be uh there's a little bit of a a uh, market shock due to the fact that right now let's say you're at like a one-to-one -one ratio of uh buyer sellers right and you have this huge influx of sell, uh, buyers, your sellers are going to have the opportunity to increase their yeah, the value of their home. Yeah, prices are going to go up. That demand's going to rise. Yeah. They're going to go up unless we get more inventory. There's nowhere else for them to go. Yeah. And I just want to make one more uh, quick uh, announcement here. Since we were talking about VA loans, mm -hmm. VA just announced that they were lowering the funding fee for the veterans, which is really good news. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was it normally? So it was, um, I, I don't have the notes right now, sorry, but, um, but they did lower the, uh, for the first time user mm -hmm. and second time use, they lowered that funding fee, which is very important because oh, okay. they're going to save a lot of money. Oh, hey, okay. Rose. I, I, I didn't even realize, be, well, because I don't do loans, I just give it to Rose and trust her with everything. I didn't know there were whatever fees were mm -hmm. being charged. What is it? One percent? Uh, it was about three and a half percent. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's called a funding fee funding. and it gets added to the loan. I see. Yeah. So, Rose, so. speaking of reduced fees, I just read somewhere the FA loan, um, their the FHA, mortgage insurance. The, that they lowered that, that by insurance? 30 percent. Correct. Right. Ooh, that's so that's good. a big chunk. Yeah. I, it was something like one hundred and twelve dollars for a four hundred thousand dollar home. Yeah. So the, so that's the good. PMI's changed. Yes. Yeah. They okay. call it, yeah the mortgage insurance mortgage, the monthly mon mortgage MI, insurance. Yeah. Right? They, yeah. MI. Yeah. Yeah. yeah ex well, explain that a little bit for that don't know the difference between FHA and conventional. Yeah. I and always. VA. Yeah. I always when I get a first time home buyer, I always like to explain the difference between conventional and FHA. So the main difference is on FHA, you're always going to have a a funding like it's not like a funding fee. It's like a um, a monthly mortgage insurance and then uh, MI that you pay upfront, right? So with conventional, you don't have that upfront MI. You only have your monthly mortgage insurance. So with conventional, once you get that 20% equity in your home, then you're able to remove that monthly mortgage insurance. But with FHA, in order to remove that monthly mortgage insurance, you have to refinance into a conventional. So which is 20 percent down. 20 percent. Can you do you, conventional for less than that? You absolutely can. Mm -hmm. And definitely if you're a first time home buyer, you can do just three percent down as long as your income is where it needs to be. There are certain guidelines in regards to that. Otherwise, if you own already a home, but you want to buy a, another home primary, you can do it with five percent down as long as you qualify. Oh, for yeah. conventional. Yeah, five, absolutely. 5%. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, that's and a lot of people don't know that. They think yeah. they need that 20% for conventional. So if a buyer comes in and they say, hey, I have a, a large down, although I still want to use the FHA, can they do that and avoid the mortgage in uh, insurance? No, not okay. with FHA. Yeah. And you're saying you can never get rid of the mortgage insurance? Not with FHA, without, without unless you refinance. Didn't you used to be able You to? used to. Yeah, but I think that was, is they stopped that in 2015. That was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's a big chunk. Usually, that's an yeah. extra what four or five hundred. Yeah. yeah, well, depending on the yeah, in a three hundred thousand dollar home is about almost two hundred dollars. So yeah. yeah, but you know, for the average uh, consumer or buyer, it's so hard to save up that you know three point five percent even right. Because you're looking at what ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Correct. I mean, a lot for people to save up. I mean, it was hard for me in my first time to mm -hmm. save that up. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Well, and the thing is, right now, like the buyers that, that I have, you know, they're our first time um, and they are struggling with that. We do have here in Nevada certain programs that help them with the down payment program, you know, the, the, with the down payment that they're required. Mm -hmm. So I always try to see which program is best for them because obviously they charge a little bit of a higher interest rate um, depending on the program they choose. And because of the situation that we're in right now, what I tell them is, well, maybe we will use the program for the down payment and we can ask the seller for some closing costs, which mm -hmm. was not happening.
happened in last year, but this year, I every contract that I get, I'm getting certain amount of cash from the seller towards the buyer's closing costs. So is that is that similar yeah. to the California Hero program? Where they, where they turn around, they provide the down payment assistance. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. So both states. Yeah, it, every state has some down payment programs available mm -hmm. to first time home buyers. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing is that I want to mention that people don't realize is if you haven't owned a home for three years for the, in the past three years, mm -hmm. you are considered a first time home buyer. Oh, does yeah. it apply to right. VA? Uh, yes. Because I was, I was told that VA could turn around and repurchase later on. Now with FHA, do you have to wait three years in order to repurchase? Because I, I know no. VA requires you to be in the home for a year before you can uh, sell and, and whatever you do with mm -hmm. it, whether you turn it or you sell it and move. Oh. Yeah, well, if you want to qualify for the down payment assistance program, you do, do, do need to have those three years. But if you bought an FHA, um, if you bought a home with FHA last year and then 12 months after you want to buy another one, you still qualify as long as you sell the other house. Mm. You right. can't have two FHA oh, loans right. under your name. But can you have a VA FHA? Uh, yes, you can. And can you oh. have two VAs? Can you rent your VA or no? Um, that's a little bit complicated, so we can go into more detail um, in yeah. another time. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, see, I didn't know all this stuff either. You know? Yes, yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just, you know, having some thoughts in the head. Yeah. Um, well, what else? What do you see in the market right now, besides, you know, besides everything else that you mentioned? So um, what else do I say? Well, you can still negotiate, especially because... Oh my God, most of the inventory out there needs some work, I'm just saying. Right. Uh, oh. All the good stuff goes in like, still in like a week or two, the good stuff goes fast. Okay. Now, the stuff that's a little, you know, you need some work, 40 days is the average on the market for that. 40 you know, days? 40 days. Okay. So. Yeah. so that's less than because two, three months ago, it was minimum 90, 90 days, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's gotten better. do you see the sellers willing to give contribution also right now to the buyers? Yeah, not of as the much. the inventory? Not as much, though. They they will if their property's been sitting, you mm -hmm. know, and some's been sitting 100 days, 90 days. Yeah. That stuff, you can still get, you know, some money but for your buyer, but the stuff that's new, probably not, probably, probably nothing, if anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does the same apply for builders? So if you're so rather than purchasing direct, you go to a so builder. So the I've been to some builders recently. I took my buyer to one yesterday. They they were offering really good incentives and they were buying down the rate for their for the buyers. They're getting so much business right now mm -hmm. that they are slowing down all of it. The construction. They, um, what do you mean? They're slowing well, down. Well, so what happened during the downturn? We know it just flipped. You know, basically six months ago or eight months ago, it just completely flipped because of the interest rates. Well, it flipped for the new homes too, right? And they had all these homes that were started or even almost finished, and the interest rates up, went up so fast, those buyers couldn't afford them anymore. So they were on the market, as in fully built homes. Mm -hmm. They went back on the market. So they had all this extra inventory, and they were trying to get rid of it quickly by discounting the homes, by discounting the mortgages, by giving upgrades. Well, those homes are all sold now because they've been busy, mm -hmm. and they had some good incentives. And now their incentives are dwindling down. Mm -hmm. Like They're not buying down the rate very much. They're only offering like a flat fee. You can either buy down the rate or you can get some upgrades. They're not doing nearly what they were doing a few months ago. Only yes. because of the standing inventory being gone. Right, because right? their their inventory yeah. is gone. And yeah. they take nine months to a year to build a new home. Yeah. So. But they've stopped building over an enterprise. Like, I mean, I think that's where a majority of the new construction was in uh, Inspirata. Mm -hmm. uh, they've mm -hmm. stopped building there completely due to those issues. No, that's where I was in Inspirata. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're building again. They're building. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're building gangbusters. But it takes a long time yeah. right now to up get to, a house. Up to a year and a half to build each house. Yeah, Single sometimes. And so what I wanted to mention in regards to that is like we as lenders also can offer some buy downs and different programs like arms, you know, or yeah. a two one buy down stuff like that to kind of match what the builder is doing, especially if you get credits from the seller, you know, you're able to buy down your rate quite a, lo a lot. Right. So. But if the seller is that builder, remember, they want you to go to their in-house yeah. lender. 
Of course. Yeah, but now since right. Susan is saying that That's they're where not you offering get the a benefits. whole lot. Yeah, but now they're not offering a whole lot, not, so you can go to your mm -hmm. own lender. You yeah, know, there's no reason. There's no. There's no motivation to go to the right. lender or right. go and get that. Benefit. The only way you get their 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 benefits is to use their lender. They won't give you, and even they right. won't even give you the the upgrades without you know the the twentieth mm. grand in upgrades without using. The I lender. do want to mention to everybody that is watching and listening to us that if you buy a new home or I think homes after here in Las Vegas after two thousand fifteen, the property tax rate went up to one percent. Mm -hmm. So um, it's quite a difference if you get an older home versus a new home because older homes still have that. Like I saw a house one day, it was like literally $50 a month in property taxes yeah. versus if you buy a $400,000 home, you're going to have a $400,000, uh, I mean, sorry, $4,000 property tax. tax. So, um, so, you know. so you mean wait, compared to the new build yeah, the and new the build. resale? Yeah, if if it's so, I'm talking about for people who are monthly, uh, their monthly payment, they have to be cautious. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, there the difference between a hundred dollars a month in property taxes versus five hundred, somebody could not, not qualify for the house they want because mm. of the property tax. Right. It's, it's so high. Right. 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 So. Wait. So did that increase only with new builds? Uh, yeah, I, th I think that happened after t 2015. Okay. They raced at any home after that oh, year. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So everything else is grandfathered in before yeah. that year. Yeah. Then. Unless okay. unless the change that, which is what they're trying to do in California. <sighs> oh, actually, they, it already happens in California. If you buy, let's say, a, a, a home in California, which happened to one of my borrowers, mm -hmm. um, they bought a million-dollar home, and the property taxes were, like, literally like two hundred dollars a month it went up to like eight hundred because yeah, once they do the reassessment exactly um there's nothing you can do at oh, that point wow. but it's california Shit, so. let's not follow california y'all yeah no, no. come oh, on know, right, we're please. nevada yeah, yeah. Let's, let's keep, it, keep that it that way, way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly that's why everyone's moving here right exactly yeah, exactly. yeah. they're so fleeing it's a sinking, yeah. it's a sinking the bad ship. situation that speaking is. of that you know how we're getting all these sports teams now Yes. Supposedly, the Oakland Athletics are looking at coming here. It's pretty serious, I guess. They're even looking at uh, the Rio for a possible location for the new baseball, right? Stadium. Baseball. Okay. Yeah, yeah, baseball stadium. stadium. And I mean, F1 races. So oh, that's yeah. just more people that have a reason to move here. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, now we have all these teams, which is amazing. Now you have so many different events and teams and games to go to. Like, I'm divided sometimes. Everyone's like, you want to go here? You want to go here? So with the baseball uh, team that might be coming, what, what properties are they looking at? Because I think you kind of researched that a little, yeah, right? Yeah, just the, the only one I saw was the Rio, but um, yeah. you said you have a friend that wants him to yes. look at. Yes. I think uh, Tropicana or something wanted to yeah. throw their hat in, but then if they... If it's they... kind of close to the other stadium, though. Very the other close. two stadiums. Yeah, but the F1 races, it's, it's occupying that entire segment north yeah. of South Point. And as soon as that goes in, I mean, it's going to shut Vegas down when the races are going. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to pass oh, the yeah. 15 or St. Rose. So I was reading about the races. They're at night, right? And then they're going to go down the strip and around our neighborhoods at 210 miles an hour. Yeah. How are they going to do that? That's why they're building all this stuff right now. But how long is that supposed to be, the F1? 24? 24. 24 hours? No, oh, no, no. How long? Yeah, or how until? long? Once it's built... And when oh, it's, every it's, year. it's every, year, every uh, year, one or two day event. I mean, probably a weekly event oh, for, okay. the, for the ramp up and the finishing. And, yeah. and uh, November, I think, is the race, right? November, uh, no, no, November really something. Exactly that's when that's when I just read it was. And it's going to be an annual event. Correct. Annual oh, event. OK. Yeah, I wasn't sure. But they're going to keep teams here. There's yeah. going to be there, there will be a, a uh, demo track, I believe, is my impression. Uh, based upon the plans that I mm -hmm. saw, there'll be a demo track for them to run, you know, tune the cars, do what they yeah. need to do with their teams, and mm -hmm. then go out and run the strip. Uh, my impression was it runs down the, the 15 as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? I so they're going to shut down the 15. I mean, I Vegas is going to be at a standstill at that point. I haven't seen the actual – I it just sounded like the back streets and the strip to me, but maybe I'm wrong. Some stuff on the 15 for sure right now, maybe to accommodate that. No, they are for the traffic, yeah. I think, and for um, – 
I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. To so for the people who want to really get in a home right now is the time. It's yeah. the time, yeah. you guys. Time to buy. Everything is coming here. I mean, yeah. hopefully we'll not be too congested like L.A. or anything. Going back on that uh, issue of taxes, right? So my thought is, like, example being Texas, California, they all have stipulations for veterans. If, they, if they're a disabled veteran or they're looking for this, uh, does Nevada have the same laws for their veterans where you're tax-free on on whatever you purchase if you're above a certain disability rating or yeah so for veterans here in in las vegas <clears throat> if you're disabled 60 percent, you can get a discount on the property taxes not free huh no not free. Yeah. texas is free yeah texas is free in, oh, Flor yeah. in florida texas. i yeah. believe you're 90 percent. you only pay 10 percent of the taxes oh, something gosh. like that so and what it, do we have it's only a it's discount. A it's, oh. it's, it's not even not worth even it. Discount? I'm telling you, really? it's like a thousand dollars. So if you have a bill of three thousand, I mean, it's still something. But yeah, you know, yeah. It, it, maybe if you have like a million dollar home, maybe no we'll make tax. it. I mean, mm. I, I'm good with no income tax. Yeah, right. So <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. balance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah, can't have it all. Why not? You can try. Mm -hmm. We can have it all. You can try. <laughs> well, if we get the right people in office. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh my As God. How, how'd that split happen? Oh, geez. You know? <laughs> <laughs> go do, do we want to go there? No, I, I don't think so. Yeah, nope. yeah, well, you know, we have some viewers who, who might be on the extreme on both sides. So, you know, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's try to keep it out <laughs> of there. Um, uh, okay, so that's good. You know what? Um, anything else to add? Like, do you guys well, want to add anything else? What else is coming to Vegas? Um, New casinos, probably always new casinos. They're going to explode something. It right? looks like they're trying to develop North Vegas, like as a whole, uh, considering Circa's gone in and uh, Resort World. So right. I, I would think that north side, the northern portions of Vegas, are probably lucra yeah. lucrative properties. Oh, I just thought of something. How no, about north, the? I'm sorry, downtown? The, the northern side of Vegas. Oh, the, the north side near Fremont. Oh, oh, downtown. Downtown. Yeah. Well, yeah. the the mayor has been working on that for several years. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean that was her yeah, that was her thing. They're cleaning up that area. It looks pretty nice now. So yeah. but I mean all the the new homes are all the way to Lee Canyon. When I moved here in two thousand sixteen there was barely any homes going past mm -hmm. uh, you know, the the end of like Vegas right there where the downtown was. So. Oh, uh like where Stratosphere is. Yeah. 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 So and now all the homes go all the way to Lee Canyon. So I wonder how far we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna go all the way up the mountains and probably mm. around. Well I mean we're already va valley to valley. Right. Like, yeah. Valley wide. I mean <gasps> look at Black east, Mountain. Eastern, eastern to western yeah. side of the valley. So. Well we have a lot of land left, you know, yeah. BLM. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. We'll yeah. get it eventually. They're releasing stuff. Right what now? about what about the uh, the Elon Musk boring company uh, people mover that just opened and they were saying they already had their one one millionth like have customer you tried it? have you tried that I no what it goes I guess mover? it only goes right now it's gonna go all over it's even gonna go to the airport really? but it only goes right now from uh, the world what's that new casino the resor resorts, resorts world. world okay resorts world to the convention center. That's oh, the yeah. only place it goes right now. What what goes? Oh, the monorail? No, no the what? people no, 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 mover. The, the people mover. The Tesla. The tunnels. underground. <gasps> oh, it's oh, underground yeah, with yeah, Teslas. Yeah. Okay, yes, I just read that. Uh, yeah, it, recently. It's I, open. I, I didn't even know about yeah, that. It is. How long has that been there? Oh, oh they just finished it, it. It opened a month ago. Oh, or okay. Maybe a little, a little bit longer. A few ago? months, I think. Okay, because so because they already had a million. It couldn't have been a month ago. Oh, interesting. I thought Louisa was there. I'd seen Louisa. Oh, I don't well, know. I maybe. Yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, I read a little bit of uh, about it, but I wasn't sure. So you're only privy to that info if you have a Tesla, obviously. Mm. Right? Oh, the Sphere, yeah. too. What about the Sphere? Yeah. That yeah. Looks That's exciting. opening this year. Largest screen in the world was my was my understanding. I don't There's really understand amazing, that. Amazing casino. shows. Yeah. I don't well, it's, a, it's an entertainment center. Yeah. It's just an entertainment center? Correct. Yeah. I thought it was a so casino. It's not a casino. No, because I think it's part of the wind, so... Yeah, it's, oh, it's okay. an entertainment center. Oh, it's part of Wynn oh, Resorts. Oh, Lord, it it's is amazing. It's part of the Venetian. Oh, oh Venetian. the Venetian. Oh, yeah, it's right behind the, the Venetian. The Venetian, oh, okay. okay. I think they're going for the, like, the Epcot Center feel. Yeah. Okay. So. Interesting. Yeah. It's it's going to be the largest music venue in Las Vegas. Nice. Just yeah. oh, music. music. Yeah. Okay. It, I, I don't know if it's going to be exclusively music anymore, but that was what it was being built well, for originally. It's very big. It's huge, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's cool. Well, 
well, many opportunities. In Vegas, Vegas right is now. definitely growing. I mean, like even more so. I just want to put it out there into the universe, Lord. I just want a little teeny tiny casino, <laughs> like, a, like a small one, not even a big one. Maybe just, you know, who knows, like maybe four tables. We're, right? manif we're manifesting. That. Yeah, absolutely. I'm putting it out there. Four tables and, you know, maybe, you know, whatever, you know, a hundred machines or something. A little tiny bar. That's fine. Right. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. All absolutely. Right, to get something. So one of my uh, super fan here, super fan, Steve, you're you're amazing, Steve. Uh, I like that you do research behind the scenes and send send us stuff while we're on air. <laughs> so he's saying that there's three choices for the uh, for the baseball. What's the right? other choices? So, so one is the Tropicana. Okay. Yeah, it is mentioned, one. yes. Okay. And then you mentioned the Rio. Uh -huh. And what is that third one? He said three. What's the third one, What's buddy? the third one, Steve? Hey, Steve, are they Steve. looking to demo those casinos and build on yeah. top? No, yeah, blow them up. Well, they would. I mean, well, if it's going to go into the Tropicana area, remember, they have to buy out all those other casinos, too. But Tropicana is about five acres, apparently, mm. on what they sit on. I mean, is that enough? I don't know. You know, five so. acres? I'll, I'll say the Rio has got a better chance. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's in a better position anyways. I mean, you're off the Oh, yeah, it's yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's walkable. Yeah. It's and, walkable, so. and Ahern. Was a, the, I know where that, that was too busy there. Way too. Busy. What's Wait, a no, that's, they that's have a Lovett. hotel and casino. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah, they have a. It's just really small. Uh -huh. But I mean, good where's, luck to them. I hope they get their deal that because they're on our team. Oh, okay. you know what I mean. That event, Ahern. No, Don Ahern. I don't know what that they, is. Ahern Hotel, Sahara Avenue, on the north end of Las Vegas Strip. Okay, so it's yeah. near Circus Circus. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's across from Circus Circus, actually. Good um, Lord. But it's too crowded there. There's That would be a terrible place. Uh, you know, everything... Okay, we seem congested anyways, especially along the Strip. But look at all the stuff that they've been they able to put. They still pack it in T-Mobile, and then, you know, the Raiders. I know, it's it like blows just my packed, mind. Yeah. How do and they then, fit that stuff Oh, I in just want to make a little comment in, you know, in regards to everything we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Vegas is fun. We have great restaurants, entertainment, teams now, and everything like that. But before I moved here, um, my friends like were kind of freaking out. Like, why are you going to move to Vegas with your 12-year-old? Like, there's strippers everywhere. <laughs> I just want to make the comment here. Like, it's not like that, okay? Like, the, the hookers and strippers are not just walking around in the on neighborhood. The street, in the neighborhood exactly. trying to pick up the husbands it depends no. on what neighborhood you're walking through <laughs> maybe the husbands hope that <laughs> so not only i mean henderson is super safe yeah it's actually i think it was rated i don't know top number six top safest large cities in the nation per capita there for violent crime yeah yep. henderson, henderson not, thank you not to the Vegas. henderson police yes. and that's Yay. and that's yeah. recently they were ranked number two oh, but yes. i mean they went down a little during covid you know everybody's fighting and their mm -hmm. families beating each other up or whatever <laughs> well i mean you trap somebody in a box for a year or two i think anybody's gonna fight at that point yeah. <laughs> domestic violence put as <laughs> Down in the ratings, Shooting right? Each other, just, I don't know. Just wait until <laughs> the zombies come. Oh yeah, there you go. Then no, no place is going to be safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. That's funny. But yeah, no, the Henderson police is amazing. I mean, they didn't. <laughs> Las Vegas, which is right next door, is not good. Only Henderson. <laughs> no, ha no, we have come the on, best you guys. Police. You got to give Metropolitan PD. Las, Las no, Vegas. they're pretty Manhattan. good. No, they're they good. are. They're good. They're good, but they have more place to cover. They have less of them per probably per capita than we do because look that that's a two million plus city we're we're like eight hundred thousand max here mm -hmm. in henderson and they have less well they, we have a lot of ground in henderson but i mean they, they have, don't have they, as much they have work. ten thousand officers i've looked it up before in comparison in contrast to like los angeles uh it, it's what, metro but, does metro does yeah las vegas metro has more officers than la oh really that's oh, great wow yeah. no they do a great job and especially around yeah. the casinos i mean oh they, yeah they they're do on a great it job. yeah you, they're not yeah. messing around mm -hmm. i feel like i've i've always felt really safe i've been here since 1986 i have never had a problem i yeah. think it's i feel so, safe everywhere i go so we don't have a problem with the uh, people not wanting to be in the force here in in las vegas I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's a I issue don't think, in I don't any think major so metropolitan city. I think the issue is getting people to qualify, right, without a drug background or, or any form of uh, prosecution. Yeah. I think that's the real issue. Oh, um, everybody's been a criminal before. I mean, people yeah. get, get in trouble when they're young. Yeah, and absolutely. That's, that's true. It. So, yeah. And if, I think uh, it's actually, you know, forgiven if you've uh, stayed clean until you're 18 
and then moved on from whatever what trouble kind you got of into. what kind of trouble did you get into sean nothing <laughs> i was a saint I, I turned seven. I, he I turned was 17. such a good boy. I, turned seven, I, I, I was a I was a good boy. I turned seventeen. I joined the army. Yeah. I was gone for the next five years, and I never looked back. Never got in trouble. Okay. Uh, oh, the you army know, probably. You didn't have time though. Ass. Oh, yeah. you didn't have time. That's the only reason you did not That's the other get in thing, trouble. Too, keep your kids busy, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Okay, got keep it. Keep your kids busy. Hey, the other sh- thing too is, if you want to support uh, Metro PD. Uh, go ahead and get their plates. You can get the plates on uh, the DMV website. Oh, for, for PD. For PD, yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm sorry, Sean, but I didn't introduce you correctly. What is it that you do anyways? Uh, at the, yeah. <laughs> you right. what, do you do? what do I do? What is your uh, well, area specialty? I look good. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, right now I'm working on a website. Basically, it's tacticalterminal.net. Uh, they're in the process of building it, you know, going through beta testing and, and phases and whatnot. Uh, the website is a secured gear exchange uh Tactile gear exchange, weapons, whatever you want to, you know, barter, Change. barter in. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Basically, an auctioneering site that allows you to barter at the same time, two different functionalities. Uh, the website itself should, I would think, launch in the next two months, somewhere in there. Oh. We're going through, you Very know. Good. Barter, so you can you can trade. Yeah, direct trade. Yeah, okay. you know what? So you turn around and you want to sell something. Yeah. You post it. Somebody gets a hold of you based upon the posting, and you guys exchange funds. And Interesting. Somebody, it's in good faith. Everything is done through a KYC, you know, your customer system. Yeah. Uh, you have to validate through through your uh, valid driver's license. And then if a if a uh, item is not shipped, whatnot, I have the ability to have recourse with okay. that account and so on. What is it called? Tactical, pardon me, tactical, tacticalterminal.net. Okay. Uh, so if you go there, you can take a look at it. It's kind of in an alpha phase, but okay. you know, you'll any, get the gist of it. Any sex for goods? <laughs> right? Hey, Bartering? If, if it's not illegal, it's, there. it's probably there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, the OnlyFans people are going to be hopping yeah, on know, there. Right? No, something. I'm not selling my feet pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Foot fetish. <laughs> hey, they're making a lot of money. Oh, the people no, with OnlyFans disgusting. and even feet. I, I think I'm going to try it. Didn't you try it, Susan? No, I, I did not uh, try the feet thing. Really? Yet. I, have a, I have a friend that does it. Okay. And I won't say her name, yeah. but she turned around. And she told me she's making like fifteen thousand a month, sixteen thousand. Oh man, a month. Susan, just come for on. Feet? We are in the she, wrong she business. Has, she has a profile photo. You. You, you can see her. Oh, you you okay. kind of see her, but you know. Susan, come it on. It is what it is. Sugar mama. <laughs> I, I need some food. <laughs> <laughs> I need some food. Petter your fucking feet out there. there, there there's for a market. Hey, look, if somebody's willing to buy it, there's a market for it. True. Absolutely. There's so. a market for everything. Yeah. Awesome. So, do you have any advice for consumers out there as far as real estate goes? Just what we already said is yeah. it's going to heat up because yeah. we don't have a, a lot of inventory and we have people moving here mm-hmm. all the time. It never stops. It's been that way all through COVID. So um, if you want to buy, talk to Rose. Talk to Rose first. And Rose, what advice do you have for? Yeah, mainly I think it comes down to because most people seem to have a hard time with uh, the credit score that they need to qualify uh, there's a range of, depending on the program that the person can qualify, we could go as low as 520 on FHA, but obviously they're going to get the worst rate. Mm-hmm. So what I recommend people, if they're thinking of buying um, in the future, like three, six or so one year in the future, just come and talk to me and we can talk about the ways that they can help their credit, the credit score go up. Um, like, you know, and another thing that I like always like to tell the people that I talk to is do not make any cash deposits in your bank accounts, please, because that can create like a whole problem, mm. you know, because we always have to have document as to where the money came from. So for people who work in, you know, on those websites that we were mentioning <laughs> before, like, unless you have receipts, you know, we can't use your money. Sorry. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, Uncle but, Sam's getting his share. Yeah, Uncle but it Sam goes to their that. bank account, I think, yeah. directly. And That's what I say. As long as they have the receipts yeah. to where, and we can trace it back yeah. where the money came from, then we can use it towards uh, the down payment on the so house. So what you're saying is somebody that's working a casino, like if they turn around. Tips. and then, Tips. Yeah. Tips, well, whatever, cash. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, tips uh, is very usual here. Uh, Hook, for ladies people. of the night. Hookers. Yeah. Um, because, but you know, what people Checks. do is like they either Checks. they they deposit it in their in their bank account. As long as it's something that it happens every month uh. for around the same amount, but we see a ten thousand dollar deposit yes. cash, and there's like where the money came from, and you're like, eh, well, how know. about seasoning? Yeah, seasoning obviously works yeah. because, we, but we always have to have a two months in it, uh, like in the seasoning uh, phase. Yeah. Oh, I tell people three months. Yeah. So seasoning, you guys, is uh, if you have cash and you have to deposit the cash into your bank account, seasoning would take about two to three months yeah. for it to season. Then 
supposedly they can't really ask you to trace back where the cash is coming from. Well, the right? thing is, we always have to have the, the last two bank statements. So if it didn't happen during that time, we yeah. can't see it. So, you know, nobody's going to ask questions. But, um, but, you know, it's like maybe somebody sold a car and yeah. they didn't get a receipt or whatever. Right. And they deposited in there or, you yeah. know, they sold grandma's like jewelry or I don't know. People like sell all kinds of crazy stuff yes. like mm -hmm. online. So true. Um, so, you know. so if I have a side hustle, right, and I and I'm, you know, fly low, fly fast kind of thing, and I'm just doing cash, c cash and carry. So, should I establish a new bank account and kind of let that sit, or is that kind of a red flag too to say, hey, you know, depends on how long yeah. you have that bank account. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and like she was saying, you know, the season in uh, is is three is, a, is big, you know. Yeah. That, so don't 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 worry about it as long as. Like large deposits, and I'm talking about things like if somebody makes four thousand dollars a month, but if it goes above that and it's cash, that's when we're gonna start asking questions. Right. You know, right. uh, because, not the norm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so anything above average. Yeah. The norm for them. For them. Whatever is their well, normal okay. income. I mean, because I've had <laughs> other deposits before that are not exactly within my norm. Everybody mm. has big, hopefully. Yeah. Big right. yeah, hope. yeah. Hey. hey. It, it's up Every there. now and is that, then. Is that that man whoring on the side? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you get that sugar mama that paid you like ten grand, <laughs> and last month she only gave you three because one night. because it one wasn't night. that good. <laughs> one night. Just one night. It's one and done. That's it. Okay. Got it. Never see him again. Oh really? Yeah. Are you that bad? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> because, you know, you want to be repeat, repetitive, no, right? I'm not about no? that repeat business. No? Okay. Because yeah. huh. by then, they, one won't, and done. they won't really, yeah, one and done. They won't realize what happened. <laughs> yeah, but for them to pay you like 10 grand, I mean, I don't think it's a one and done thing. I mean, you, you but have what to be one wait, Superman. What, what if there's one waiting in the wings waiting to pay you 30? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. He keeps uh, moving forward. Lost moving opportunity, up. you know. The cost Man, of money. You you have a good uh, marketing person there yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. Right. I can Who's hook that? you up. I'll Who's that person? Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah refirm. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So those are, you know, the main tips for, for the borrowers okay. are there, you know, no large deposit within, you know, the past two months before you apply. Okay. Um, come and talk to me in regards to your credit. Uh, obviously no late payments. Um, you know, what else? Um you Keep know, your credit card uh, levels lower. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, is it below 30% of your credit? Below 30% is the magic number. Okay. All your credit cards needs to be below that 30% of the maximum allow balance. Ooh, and, and y'all do so not just get ever... more credit cards. No. Okay. <laughs> if you get more credit card, which is fine because you have more credit right. established, right? Okay. But never, ever, ever, ever close that credit account. No, that's bad. bad. Because that's a huge ding, like 100 points, yes. I think, when you close your credit credit card account mm -hmm. so I keep it open one. you don't have to use it yeah put it in the it freezer open. whatever you want to yeah. do but do not close it oh and then one more thing that i always like to tell everybody that i talk to or come to see me is if you go well first of all don't go and apply or buy a car lease a car right before you're trying to buy a house that's a big no no right like almost people how about know during that. escrow <laughs> uh, no even, don't do that during even escrow, worse please. even worse so no uh, what i was going to say is uh, when you go and after you purchase the home or whatever it is you're not thinking about buying a house if you're going to buy or lease a car do not let that dealer pull your credit more than once mm. because they will ding you Every time they pull your credit, and when you sign in that dotted line in there, that you are, they will allow them to pull your credit. They go in and try to get the best rate or whatever. All over uh, town. Yeah, yeah, with five shotgun. different They'll shotgun banks. That. <laughs> and literally, that could lower your rate by 100 points. Holy moly. Uh, that happened to me a long time ago. Yeah. Thank God I was not trying to buy a house, but I was pretty yeah. upset. And mm. ever since, I, I tell that to everybody because it's something shady that they do. And I don't know if they know that they're doing it that is affecting the credit but somebody should Let like put know. a stop to it because it's is bad. it one dealership that's doing yeah it? Oh. no all of them oh. no they'll shop out to several yeah. finance oh, companies it, they're shopping around yeah. for so, you so because so they're trying to get you the payment you want so they have to try mm. all these different finance companies so that you can get that payment got it so i remember back a long time ago i filed a bankruptcy right i turned around and uh, uh wanted to purchase home thereafter uh, for me, it was like, okay, hey, do I want to go? And I, I almost felt embarrassed about it, right? So do you have a difficult time financing people that had previous bankruptcies? 
No, no, as long as the timeline has passed for FHA conventional and BA, you're good. So what are those timelines? Yeah. So it's two years for FHA, four years for conventional and two years for VA. Oh, that's not oh, bad. Oh, that's all. not bad. It used to be seven years, right? Back in the no, day. That's no, that's foreclosure. Foreclosure. Oh, foreclosure. Okay. Oh wow. Bankruptcy for seven years on a foreclosure. Yeah, well, that's rough. Actually, you don't want to foreclose. Yeah, I think they changed that too for foreclosure. I think it's less. Yes, yeah, less. Five, yeah. maybe. That's because okay. everybody got foreclosed. Yeah, in, right. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. nobody would be able to buy a home at that point. Right. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So. Well, great. That those are great tips. Um, so next, we're you know I don't know if you guys know, but if anyone has ever watched Marrying Millions, which is on Lifetime or is on Hulu now, you will know that my BFFs was on the show with us or with me. You know. So Let's talk a little bit about that show. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ooh. For, for those of you that haven't seen the show, so it's called Marrying Millions. And the premise of the show is, you know, one uh, it's couples. One is rich and one is poor or one is rich and one is not. So I only had these girls as my family because I don't have a family. So they were essentially my family. And I think they were... Uh, you know, the fans were kind of harsh on them only yeah. because they were just being who they were, their, their we, true selves. They tried to label us the evil stepsisters. <laughs> Tough we, love's the best love. We either got a, got a meme out of us. That was pretty funny, oh, though. I got to say, I laughed so hard when I saw it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was fun. fun. Yeah. And, you know, for people out there that there's giving us the hate still to this day, <laughs> just know that we love this woman over here and we were only looking for what it was good for her, her and best nothing interest. else. Yes. So. Definitely. But you guys have to remember it's a, it's a reality show. So they have to edit make, and cut it and make it look interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. Make it. Interesting. We all couldn't have been good, you know, or uh, nice people. Right. Yeah. Someone had to be the bitch or the bitches. Well, yeah, yeah but but also like let me tell you, uh, it Brian, wasn't hard to be a he, bitch. He, he, Brian, he he had his moments where you were like, "What? I can't believe that came out of his mouth." Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So and I don't hold back. So yeah, yeah. You know, I like that. I like that, but it didn't affect you guys negatively, right? No. With the fans no. and, and their comments and stuff. No, for the most part, to be honest. Uh, most people were like, you did good, you're a good friend, yeah. and stuff like that. You also have, like, the people there. There like, were some haters. Yeah. Yeah. There's well, some haters that think you, we but broke. But you always have that. They think we broke you guys up. So you would probably, if you met on the street, I'm sure you would go for him again, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, and yeah. It You'd was an amazing like, time. Honey, I miss you so much. <laughs> Yeah, so I think what happened was he was one person with her, but when he was, we were all together. He tried to he tried to portray himself as something else that yeah. maybe we were never able to see how he was just with you. All right. Um, he went off the handle around us. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he was trying too hard. I don't know. Maybe he's trying too hard to impress you. And, and the yeah, thing maybe. is, like, people didn't realize what went behind the scenes. Like, it was even worse. That's you know, the true. stuff that they cut. Uh, it was him being a complete. Yeah. Asshole. Uh, yeah. And, you know, uh, what I noticed is the things that happened behind the scenes were even more entertaining. Yes. They should have put those in there. Because I know. the fights I had with him on set oh, really? during the filming, I mean, it was probably comparable to what you guys experienced. I wasn't there yeah. that day. See, I've, I've never seen the show. And yes. everybody, everybody talks about it. So the, I guess the question is, is it worth going back and binge, binge watching uh, on like Absolutely. Hulu or what was it? Hulu or Hulu. It's, it's on, on Hulu. Hulu. It's on Hulu. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll, go, maybe I'll go back and binge watch it. I've, fact, I've, uh, we should go to Jen T's house early, like one afternoon, oh, yeah. and we'll have some drinks, and she can play it on her big screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we can get on the stripper pole that I just installed. <laughs> 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 I practiced it one day. Lord help us. Oh, my God, I only swung on it twice. My She's upper sore. body was so sore. So, oh, God. Oh, it was terrible. I mean, it's good and terrible. Good exercise. So we should do that. Yeah, we should go binge watch, you know, Mary Millions with you. Can you bring someone you? to teach us? I don't, yeah, yeah we'll I'm find somebody. I'm not getting somebody. on stripper pole. I'll teach you guys. <laughs> you, oh, you get, I'll teach y'all. You know how to stripper pole? Really? You couldn't look at me. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn, Chase. All right, you're coming over too. That's for sure. We got, yeah, we no. got our man. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be fun. You know, get some vodka in us. Yeah, you know? uh, absolutely. So, Genti, yes. uh, have you, like, what, what's you going on with your love, love life? life. Are we, oh. Have you ever going back to Marrying Millions? I don't know. You know, they are casting for season three right now. And I told the casting people that hopefully the casting would take longer. Yeah. And then by then, I might have met someone, you know, okay. hopefully, right? So, mm -hmm. we don't know. I mean, yeah. 
We're, yeah, we're, well, you just prayed for a casino. I think you should have prayed for a boyfriend. Then. Well, sure. Yeah, but she you know. Have any, she can have any boyfriend she wants once she has a casino. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, they'll, they'll be running away even faster now because I have, I have way more money. Yeah. yeah. No, they're not going to like the casino. I think it's just going to rule too many people out at that oh, point. Oh, man, I don't know. You know, I leave it up to God with this whole relationship thing, honestly. I, I, I don't really think about it. I, I'm not upset or depressed or I'm not lonely. I mean, I love being single and being by myself and sleeping and farting, you know, <laughs> just, it's amazing. <laughs> you're com- so you're know. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. right, right. If, um, if someone comes, that's because God says, okay, it's time for you to, you know, get some booty or something like that, you know, but. No, I, I don't think, and I don't think money has anything to do with it, whether you're happy or not, ultimately. Yeah, no, no. money yeah. doesn't. No. People, people look at that objectively. It's not an issue. Yeah. No. Money doesn't do it. I yeah. can. I but can vouch for that. Da- but dating is hard right now. This stage, in the- you know, I was listening. Mm-hmm. I think it was uh, Joe Rogan, if mm-hmm. I can say that here. Sure. You know, and they said that by uh, they did a study that by 2030, women between the ages of 25 and 40 are going to be single and childless. Well, that's because they took the damn vaccine. <laughs> Wait. Oh, <geez. laughs> I thought you said we're not going there. We went there. I thought you said we're not going there. The childless, she left it wide open, dude. The childless part. (laughs) Y'all who got vaccinated, I tell you what, you're not going to be able to conceive. I'm just telling you. That is actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. I I work in the hospital. Not going to be good. In terms of my other career, I've seen many things that are, there's, there's not just normal. too many coincidences. Not normal. Uh, it's not normal. Absolutely. Yeah. No, we all yeah. know. They all know their periods are messed up. So yeah. they must know that it's going to mm-hmm. be. And you guys have seen the memes. I'm having a coincidence. Yep. And they said, you know, even in mm-hmm. um, Australia, which is one of the countries that got almost like 100% of the people vaccinated. Right. And 2021, the mortality rate went up 40%, like, like, yeah. which is, they say that's disastrous. For the human, yeah. for the yeah. human race, yeah. that's like never seen. That that's like. No. Did they actually ridiculous. broadcast that? Because you know, no, they, yes, they, no, it, it is it's actually out there. Published. They, I saw, yeah, I saw the published. study too. Oh, okay. yes. It's published. It's because yeah. you know, here in the states, you, you well, don't hear about this. It's you know, not going to be published here. Yes. No? Yeah, you know, U.S. U.S. Uh, if you want to call it media companies, are not reporting on what's mm-hmm. happening outside of the United States. Yeah. Considering the United States did not force vaccination, they're not even ha- other countries. They're did not force even it. reporting well, what happens here. Well, let, depends, let alone well, what de- happens. Well, depends on what you say, what, what you consider. Um, uh, forcing because uh, you know well let me put my tin hat on <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Sean, many hats because certain people did <laughs> yeah. lose their job because they didn't get back no I, I work in the medical field yeah. I, I know many people that cannot work or no yeah. longer work in the medical field yeah. due to that very yeah. issue right so, so going back to that study that they did um you, they did that study because they wanted to tell people in what to invest so mm. that was the reason for the study and they say yeah between women between 25 and 40 by 2030 they're gonna be not married and without a child that's pretty scary so what wait but so why, what should you invest why, why then i mean I, I guess this is where, where this society is Design. going, you know, like uh, women don't want to, you know, be a housewife anymore. They want and, a six-figure man. And men they, they want don't want to settle down. And, no, and I think it's not because they don't want to be a housewife. I think it's because nobody can afford one income, especially right now with this stupid inflation and the price of everything and the that is true that is very i don't true. think they'll ever be able to afford it not the average person well, you, you figure in the 1950s a, a single income provider could take care of an entire family yeah and you look at it now absolutely both people have to work there's no questions about right. it. right yeah i mean no. i was a stay-at-home mom for 18 years and i can tell you that there was a lot of us a lot of us could do that and i guarantee you right now not nearly the percentage you think it's the income factor that would keep people single because i don't think it's that i think with society and the way it's going it people are not putting up with shit anymore oh you know, no I, I, think, I think i mean if you want to talk okay i, I i'll go with my uh my friend well, Jeff, what's Jeff the Cool's male theory. Oh yeah, oh, that, Je- yeah, Jeff that, Cool's that, theory. The Jeff, the Jeff Cool theory. Okay. Alpha, <laughs> alpha Widow. Oh, yeah. uh, I, the Alpha Widow. I mean, if every woman wants a six-figure man and you're not willing to contribute or you're not willing to uh, be a part of that uh, development, then yes, uh, you're oh, going to yeah. remain sing- single. Uh, you build together. You, you know. I you, agree. You, yeah, you're, but- but see, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that every woman wants a six-figure man because there's plenty of broke no, guys. No, but the majority. I mean, six, 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 the majority. 
Maybe that's yeah. what they're saying. And the, other, well, the other thing too is maybe six, the majority six figures of people is not really. That we know because it's our circle, but there's plenty of fucking losers that are getting, <laughs> you know, that we know, yeah, you know no, that are yeah, getting we, impregnating girls. Yeah, 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 or even the women. There, no. you know, there, there's plenty of women get, that would go for those guys, or else there wouldn't be any ugly fucking babies on this earth. Okay, that's that's <laughs> the male point of view, but the women's point of view, especially if you're over like thirty, you might have a career, you have your shit together, you have your finances together, and now you're not gonna you're not gonna date down. Like we don't date down. Yeah, that's what Jeff was saying. So from, and, yeah. So and from, so I guess a man doesn't want to date down either. I get that. Actually, a man no, will man date. Will, I mean, will, a man will date down, and, and a woman will not. They'll go from the queen to the prostitute. <laughs> well, I definitely don't want to date <laughs> down true. because I've already worked this hard to get here. Like, why do I want to go back like, to my back to my point of backward? You, back to my point of you want somebody that, that's going to be successful with you. If you've dealt with that person, you're less likely to leave that person. The nuclear family. Right? Yeah. You're going to turn around, hey, we're successful. We might have issues. Everybody has issues. Mm -hmm. uh, we might have those issues, but you've spent so much time, invested so much effort, mm -hmm. yeah. you're not going to leave that person over small things. And I feel right. like now with dating apps and everything that's going on, it's like, a, it's like a HR. HR is your most costly item in a business, right? Mm -hmm. Cycling people through your system, trying to find the right people to keep right. and the, removing those that are not. You know, if you look at the dating apps, it's just resumes yeah that's all you're looking at ladies you're looking at resumes well and i would just I like know. to give a piece of advice out there to all the married women that you are with someone that you're building something with like you're saying and which you do and that's a great thing like don't give up easy because there's nothing good out there so don't even right. think don't even think it's going to get better if the you grass divorce is not your husband. Right. No, right. it's yeah. it's not good. Don't no. do it. No. Well, yeah, I guess if you have someone that you've been with, you know, try to work it out. But that's what I'm saying. The new the new age thing is, you know, people are just walking away easier. That's why there's what 50, 60 percent divorce, right? Because yeah. oh, people are like, you know what? I'm, I'm sick of this. I'm just going to go. But there's a fan here that says 40 year old women like yourself waited too late. No, I mean, <laughs> I didn't wait for anything, you know, we didn't wait. We, we went through the course of our life and we yeah. had our experiences and we met different types of people and different men and stuff. We did. We lived our life. And it's the just those weren't, and, and the they weren't the right person for us. Right. The problem is that they don't realize that, yeah, in, in paper and maybe the way they look is good, but they don't know that those people have something that you just could not deal with. Yes. Right. You know, like there's the uh, there's abusers yeah. out there, yes. there's cheaters. You have to have the things that they're you're non negotiables. Absolutely. Yeah. If yeah. a guy is 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 uh, a cheater or you know an abuser, abuser or whatever, why the hell would we stick in there and, and you Or know. someone who's trying to take advantage of you mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. your money. Like that's yeah. a big no no. Yeah. I think yeah. I think the older you get that's more of an issue you have to be concerned with. Earlier on, older let, for you know, sure. Much less. So. Older for sure. But also, yeah. like for the young people, like you said, build build something with someone. You don't have to he doesn't have to have anything. You don't have to have anything. You'll get it in, in the future yeah. if you're yeah. both on the same page. And try to be self employed. Yeah. Be oh, self employed. Yes. But if yeah. you're if you're my age or or any age in between then you already built something, hopefully, because mm -hmm. otherwise you're hopefully. screwed. Yeah. Otherwise you're screwed. Well, well, I mean, if, to... if you, if you realize, made a realization saying, hey, you know what, I need to get things on track at four, yeah. you're still good to go. You're going to get your 20 years in wherever you might start. Hey, um, you know, life is all about up and down and, down and roller coasters and stuff, so a lot of times we may have to start over, and that's quite, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's okay. Don't, don't be discouraged from that. So, awesome. Thank you, guys. This is a good segment Thank here. Thank you for having us. We hey, went all over the place. Yeah, we were all, but that's what makes the show so interesting. We kind of go all over the place. So, I'm glad that you guys are a part of this. And, hey, um, you guys out there, um, I actually have, um, courtesy of Anthony Cools, the Axe Capital, I have a lot of tickets. If you guys want some, please just call uh, the problem solver, you know, one, I'm sorry, 702-999-1111. Call and let me know how many tickets you have so uh, you can uh, take your, you know, mate or partner on date night. Perfect. Um, yeah. So Rose uh, with Lone Depot. Thank you for being here, sweetie. Susan Brock with uh, Realty One Group. Thank you thank for being you. here. And Sean and, Eye Candy. And Sean Eye Candy. <laughs> thank you for joining us <laughs> and, and, and lovely inputs. Thank you. you know? Thank you. So thank you guys. See you next week on The Problem Solver. Bye, guys. Every day, uh, every, I'm sorry, every Thursday.
6 p.m. live. Okay, <laughs> so the times keep getting pushed back. But well, we did just have time change, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. That yeah, is, that's, that's, that's true. That's, that's what messed true. it up. But um, all right, see you guys next week. Thank you for joining us. Bye.